Which Republican candidate <clears throat> has the best chance of winning the general election? Of the declared ones right now, Donald Trump. <laughs> If he becomes the president here, make, make it great, because the states is already gone. I think that man will be president of the United States right about the time that spaceships come down filled with dinosaurs and red capes. On that note, Tom, <laughs> pleasure. Take it Thank from me. How about that? Yes, Tom. And so, right now, Mr. Trump, to answer your call for political honesty, I just want to say, you're not going to be president, all right? But, but, but come on, come on, buddy. All, let's say, cow poo poo aside, there is zero chance we'll be seeing you being sworn in on the Capitol steps with your hand on a giant golden Bible. You say that Donald Trump has the best day in the entire world, completely outperforms expectations, and he wins all of the toss up states. He wins all five of those states, plus that Electoral College vote in Maine that he's after. If he wins all of the toss ups, which would be insane because nobody wins all of the toss up states. Even if Donald Trump did win all of the toss-up states, he would still lose. You're awake, by the way. You're not having a terrible, terrible dream. Also, you're not dead and you haven't gone to hell. This is your life now. This is our election now. This is us. This is our country. It's real. I had the weirdest, weirdest dream last night. Remember that guy who used to host The Apprentice? <laughs> I dreamed we elected him president. The big story is that America woke up this morning and was like, Did I do that? If this morning you finally woke up from a coma, well, you might want to go back. What we did was the Democratic equivalent of installing an above-ground pool. <laughs> Even if we're lucky and it doesn't seep into our foundations, the neighbors will never look at us the same way again. We put our eight-month-old son to bed, and I was holding him, and I said to him, when you wake up tomorrow morning, we might have our first female president. And then when we came home around midnight, I uh, went into his room, uh, shook his crib until he woke up, and screamed, <laughs> we have to get out of here! If Trump wins, we will at least be galvanized and united in fighting against them. Well, it appears Trump has won. So we go to the guys who made that argument. We go to Jimmy Dore. Listen, he's an ugly person. It's a horrible thing that has happened. Now what we have to ho hope for and try to make happen is that he's uh, such a f he's such a flawed guy that he can't help himself. He'll still keep alienating the people that he needs to govern. You, we handed unli almost unlimited power to a fascist wannabe. Buckle up. So are you not deeply, deeply concerned about that? Yes, of course I am. I mean, we warned them. And so Bernie Sanders gave people something to vote for, to come out for, and people did in droves. So did Trump, by the way. He was still filling stadiums to the last day. Hillary couldn't get five people to come here and talk. And so, again, everybody sticks their head in the sand and just keeps, oh, hopefully the donors are right this time. The Democratic Party completely turned their back on workers. They got in bed with Wall Street and Silicon Valley.